It is an emotional day in Nigeria as foremost nationalists recount the lives and times of late Chief MKO Abiola as Nigeria marks Democracy Day. Plus TV Africa, Mary Chinda brings us this report. June 12, 2020, a day that marks one of the fiercest struggles of the Nigerian state towards democracy. Right behind me is the statue of a man who is described as the hero of the June 12, 1993 struggle, Chief MKO Abiola. Mashut Kashimawo Olawale Abiola, MKO, was young and passionate about democracy. It is 27 years after the election was annulled by the then military government headed by General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, IBB. It is 27 years after the unofficial result of the election, though not declared by the National Electoral Commission, NEC, indicated a victory for MKO of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, who defeated Bashar Tofa of the National Republican Convention, NRC. And it is 22 years after MKO was allegedly killed while in custody. Today, it is not only a Biola day in Nigeria, but today, over 180 million Nigerians mark Democracy Day nationally, thanks to the President Muhammad Buhari passed a bill to legalize June 12 as Democracy Day. While it is an emotional day for Nigeria as a nation, for scores of first-generation nationalists who have been on the forefront of national development, the annulment of the June 12 election was a step that further plunged the country into rot. MKO Abiola died for a collective struggle. It's a collective responsibility that will continue to keep his memory alive and ensure that the ideas of June 12 lives. My biggest regret is that we fought for a restoration to full-blown democracy. Because we were uh, of the strong opinion that those who will take over governance after the exit of the military will be mindful of the economic deprivation of our people. But what would have been different if the June 12 election was not an old? It was, it, was, it was a very peaceful election. I was there, so it wasn't... I worked for INEC as ad hoc staff for that election. It was a very peaceful election. I judged, you know, to be very peaceful. It, we were very sad when the election was cancelled. Um, if, uh, if June 12... allowed to stay, would Nigeria uh, have been better? Uh, perhaps yes, because... And my only reason would be that we wouldn't have had a lot more protracted uh, military rule because the military rule has, uh, has had serious implication on us as Nigerians. Almost three decades after, how has Nigeria fared post June 12, 1993? 27 years after, looking back, MQ will not be too happy with all that is happening in this country. And how does the Abiola family feel about June 12th? My father was Nigerian through and through. So I've had a question asked of me once where they asked me if I was upset about what my father did or I would have rather him stay at home. No, I'm very proud of my father. I believe he stood for what he believed in. I believe he was in the right when he made those decisions. And I believe that if 1993 June 12 was allowed to go on, Nigeria would be a better place today. But notwithstanding, I'm still very optimistic about the country's future. You know, who would have ever thought that 25 years later we will be celebrating Democracy Day on June 12. MK Abiola died for all of us. So it's a collective responsibility in ensuring that we make Nigeria work in our lifetime. And that is why leaders must know that they are servants. They are there to serve and that whatever it is, people paid the price. So therefore, their death must never be in vain. As the world joins Nigeria to celebrate June 12th as Democracy Day, 
the emphasis is laid on better leadership, especially as the nation has remained the poverty capital of the world since 2019. From Lagos, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.